Hi guys, today I have with me problem 3.66 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. It's called Tossing Your Lunch. So Henrietta is jogging on the sidewalk at 3.05 meters per second on the way to her physics class. Bruce realizes that she forgot her bag of bagels, so he, so he runs to the window, which is 38 meters above the street level and directly above the sidewalk to throw the bag to her. He throws it horizontally 9.00 seconds after she has passed below the window and she catches it on the run. Ignore air resistance. A, with what initial speed must Bruce throw the bagel, throw the bagel so that Henrietta can catch the bag just before it hits the ground? And B, where is Henrietta when she catches the bagels? Okay, so it seems like there's quite a bit going on in this question. So let's draw this out so we can better understand the problem. And so if we have um, some drawing of the building, let's just say that this is it. I don't know, let's give it a couple of windows. And yeah, let's pretend that um, this is going to be Bruce. Because we did say that he's 38 meters above street level. So if this is street level, um, we're gonna say that he is 38 meters above street level. Okay. And Henrietta is jogging on the sidewalk and that's going to be at 3.05 meters per second. So that's going to be her. She's just walking or jogging at three. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of thick. 3.05 meters per second. Okay, 3.05 meters per second. And he throws this after nine seconds. And he's gonna throw it sort of this way. Okay, so we have a diagram of what's going on. Now, I think what's best to do is to realize that there's two things going on here. One, she's moving, she's jogging, she's running. So we know that she's going to be moving at some constant pace. So let's write down the knowns for her and then the unknowns for her. So let's say H, well, we know that she's only moving in the X direction, right? So if we say that this is positive X and this is positive Y, we know that she's only moving in the X component, right? Because she's not flying off the ground. She's just jogging. So if it's H, X. And if there's X, she's also not accelerating, right? So it just says that she's jogging constantly at this 3.05 meters per second. So we're gonna say that her speed is 3.05 meters per second. We don't know how long she's taking, but we do know that there is some time she runs at. And we'll circle back to that and kind of try to gather more information from this question. We also know that she is traveling some sort of distance. And that distance is going to be speed times time. Well, one thing we know about time is that we can sort of rewrite this time as this nine seconds after she has passed below. So because, what's his name again, Bruce. Okay, so because Bruce is throwing this bag of bagels nine seconds after and she catches it, the bagels are going to be in the air for about, you know, some time bagels, right? How long? bagels are in the air, right? And then this nine seconds after she has passed. So we have to add these both together. So it's going to be nine plus T bagel, right? And I guess that way we can say that D is equal to 3.05 times 
9 plus TB. So we know that's going to be the distance. Okay, so now we have all the information that's in the question written down in one place. Now let's move on to this bagel portion. Okay, so Bruce throws this bagel and we know that I'm going to use blue here for a second, but we know that if he's throwing it right outside of the window, it's going to sort of fall in some sort of projectile like that, right? And then she's going to catch it in her hand, okay? So let's write down our X components and our Y components. So what is given here? What do we need to know? So for Bruce, let's actually do this in the color blue so it's easier. We're going to have an X component. Okay, so for X, we know that he throws it. Oh, actually, we don't know what speed he throws it at. So we're just going to say that he throws it at some V, I, X. Okay. Now let's also just do our Y simultaneously at the same time. What about V, I, Y? Well, it doesn't say that he's throwing it at some angle, right? So if he's just throwing it straight ahead, right, and it curves down, there's going to be some X component, but not necessarily some Y component. In fact, because they didn't give us an angle, we can, because he's not throwing it at some angle, we can for sure assume that there's going to be no Y component. And why, you may ask, let's go over this quickly. So if he was throwing it at this angle, theta, right, we would have this X component and we would have this Y component. But that's not true because he's just throwing it out the window. There is no Y component. There's just an X component. Okay. And so for that, we can say this is equal to zero meters per second. Okay. What do we know about the distance that this, that, sorry, what do we know about the time, right? So this is where the question's actually like slightly tricky. This nine seconds is not, it's not the time that it was in the air. In fact, we don't know how long it was in the air. That's something that we have to figure out, okay? So we don't know that. And then in terms of um, distance, right? So remember how when we have X component for projectile motion, there's only three parts. There's V, there's T, and there's D. That's it. There is no acceleration. So there's really no other changing speed or acceleration component. We also don't necessarily know what D is either, right? Because once we know V, I, X, then we need to know what, then we'll find out what T is and then we'll know D. So really, we don't really know anything for this X component. But one thing we do actually know is this time is going to be actually the same time as this right over here. So this is actually T bagel, how long the bagel is in the air, right? And these are the same because obviously if you throw something in the air, it's only gonna travel as far horizontally as long as it is in the air, right? So um, I usually give this example in most of my videos that if you are throwing, if something is in the air for three seconds, then it's traveling vert vertically and horizontally only for three seconds, right? It it's impossible that you throw something, you know, um, you know, at some angle for, and it's only in the air for one second and it travels, you know, for five seconds horizontally. No, that doesn't make any sense. So we know that T B, T bagel is going to be um, equal in the X and Y component. Okay, what else do we know? We know that this height, right? So this height or this distance, right? Let's call it height, is going to be 38 meters, right? So this is going to be 38 meters and 38 meters downwards, right? Because we said that this is our positive component. We, we said this is our positive component. So if it's downwards, right, if it's falling down, that's going to be a negative 38, not a positive 38. What else? Acceleration. As long as we're on planet Earth, we have 
approximately an acceleration of minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Obviously, in higher elevation areas, that acceleration is going to be a little bit lower and um, near sea level or, you know, um, areas kind of even, yeah, near sea level, it's going to be um, smaller. But on average, it's 9.8. And that's not really the point of this question. We usually just accept like minus 9.8 or minus 9.81, whatever you use in your textbook or whatever you use in your classroom, that'll suffice. Anyways, so if we look right here, actually, we can write this D as VIX TB. Okay, so if we look right over here, we have something really great. Because here we have two unknowns and, you know, three variables. Again, we have three variables and essentially three unknowns. Okay. And then for this, for this Y portion, hey, we have three knowns and we have one unknown, which means kinematic equations. So which one are we going to use? Um, we're going to go with this one. So if we, we're going to go with this one. So it's going to be TB. We're going to solve for TB. And that is going to be A, D is equal to half of A, T squared plus V naught T. Great. We can just scratch this out. D is going to be half of minus 9.8 t squared is equal to minus 9 point, oh, sorry, is equal to minus 38. And when I solve for that, I'm just going to be double checking my work, but sorry, we, actually, let me just rewrite this because we have the space, so why not? So t, is going to be equal to sorry let me just double check that because I don't want to make any mistakes because that might carry over okay awesome yeah I got the same thing that I did before and that's 2.785 seconds so that's how long this T B is, right? So this T bagel is in the air for um, this much time. Okay. So one thing we know is that if we have T T B now, we can plug that in. So I'm just gonna actually highlight that in like, not highlight that, but I'm just gonna go over that in green. So we said 2.785 seconds. That means this is going to be 2.785 seconds. That means this is 2.785 seconds. And that means this is also, we also solved for this. So we know that we can plug this in and we can solve for T, but let's just look at what information exactly that we're looking for. So we're actually just going to be, sorry, I just have a pop-up message. Um, okay, no, cancel that. Okay, so we are, we're going to be looking for in the question, the initial speed, and we're also going to be looking at where she is when she catches the bagel. Hold on a second. Where she is when she catches the bagel. So let's think about that for a second where she is when she catches the bagel means that the distance of the the distance the bagel travels and the distance that she travels are going to be the same which means this is going to be the same as this right because it's impossible that she caught the bagel if you know she's at if she's at point a and the bagel's at point b right and there's like let's say this is 10 meters apart or whatever that she can't catch that, right? She has to be at the same place as the bagel to catch that, which means that her and the bagel travel the same distance. So these, these are equal to each other. So now that we have our one, um, that now that we have our known time, the bagel was in the air, 
we can we can look at this um, portion of the question, right? Or this portion of the known information, how fast Henry Henrietta's jogging, how long she's jogging for, and what distance, right? And we can look at um we can look at we only have one unknown now, unknown now, and that's the distance. So we just plug in this value into TB and then we solve for D, right? So we just plug TB into here and that's what we have for our distance. And then we'll have our distance here and then we can use this to get our VIX. So interesting in this question, if we if we wanna solve for A, we actually have to solve for B first. So let's do that. Okay, so for D, it's going to be 3.05 times nine plus 2.785. And the distance we get is going to be 35.944 meters. So that's the distance at the bagel, the horizontal distance the bagel travels, and that's also the horizontal distance that Henrietta jogs. Okay, so that's how, that's where she is when she catches the bagel. And then for part, and then for, yeah, and then for part A, what was the initial speed? Well, now we have our known, we have our D, we have our TB. Now we just have to solve for our VIX. So VIX is equal to D over TB. And that is just going to be um, 35.944 divided by 2.785. And that is equal to 12.907 meters per second. So that is the initial speed uh, with what Bruce must, must throw the bagel so that Henrietta can catch it just before it hits the ground, right? So yeah, she's not catching it midair, she's catching it before it hits the ground. So. The question's kind of weird because why would someone catch the bagel right before it hits the ground? They'd actually probably catch it, you know, one or two meters above the ground. But for the sake of this question, it says just before it hits the ground. I don't know. She's like diving on the floor and grabbing it with her hands before it touches the ground. I don't really know the dynamics of this question exactly, but I do know the physics and I have presented that to you. So um, there we have it. For part A, we had a initial speed of 12.907 meters per second and then for part b where she is when she catches the bagel that's going to be 35.944 meters thank you so so much for watching and if this was helpful please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you can um uh, it really means a lot to me and I can kind of figure out and gauge what people like and what people don't like so I can make more content like that in the future. And I know that school is starting for so many different, um, I guess, countries in the world. And I can see that there's um, quite, there's people from all over the, over the world that are watching this. So if you have any questions, you would like me to do any problems, um, if there are any like unique examinations that you're going to be taking, um, please do uh like send me an email or leave it in the comments and I can actually do like you know exam specific prep on whatever you would like to see um but thank you so much for watching see you next time